Hey guys, Ryan the Nerd here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Incredibles 2 Underminer Funko Pop. So yeah, um, uh, Pixar fan, as you all know me, big Pixar fan, uh, this is probably my first ever Pixar um, Funko Pop, which is the Underminer, which if you don't know, I, I'm pretty sure you all know by this point, from the Incredibles, uh, at the end of the movie, he comes up and he's like, I am the Underminer, and all that, you know, you know, you got that stuff over there, but, uh, I was at EB Games, uh, wasn't gonna get him, until I looked at the price, I, I mean, look, how can you not deny that, I, I mean, look at that, that, that is, that is some cheap, so, I got this guy, um, that's pretty much it, but I, I, I really love The Incredibles, Incredibles is one of my favorite Pixar movies, um, and I think they did a good job on the Funko Pop. But anyway, since this is from The Incredibles 2, you know, you got the cast up here, you got Frozone, but you got the screen slaver, screen slaver and the Underminer. The Underminer was the only one there. Um, I, I, I think that the Underminer is probably the only good one in the, in the, in the set. So, anyway, uh, let's move on to the actual Funko Pop. Uh, so let's bring him in. So here he is. Uh, so he is a very good pop. I, I really like how the way he looks. Um, so as you can see, um, you know, very accurate to the film as well. Uh, it doesn't look realistic because it's a, you know, uh, an animation cartoon character. So they can cheap out. But I think that they did really well, especially on the, uh, the hands here and the microphone. Um, so he's short, uh, very short. Uh, let me bring in. Let me bring in Penguin here. So here he is next to a regular size Funko Pop. So he is a little bit shorter as usual um, because he is very short in the movie as well. Um, but I think that they really did a good job on him with the detail. Um, so let's take a look at him. So you have his helmet here with the, um, the, the lantern on top of his head. It's a little bit scuffy, like a little scuff mark on there, but that's okay. Um, they also did a really nice job of the helmet overlapping the nose. That's also good. You got the, the mole-like teeth. Um, so, um, how does he see? Have no idea. Um, but on the back here, you got his cape. Uh, I like how they fold around the cape like that to give it, like, you know, that fabric look. It's a little bit thick, but, I mean, I guess they had to. Uh, then, he, here's his mic. Um, so yeah, very awesome as well. Uh, his hands here, um, so he does have like some metal hands here, and they actually look like they can articulate, they don't. Um, so yeah, uh, really like that as well. Um, and I think that, um, they should, I think Funko should do more movable parts instead of just the head. Um, like this, that, that could have easily just been open. Because some people don't like Funko Pops, it's mostly because of their formed head and their big eyes, and they just look complete trash. Some Funko Pops look like complete trash. I only get the ones that look good and the ones that I actually know. I, I'm not a, I'm a Funko Pop collector, but I only collect stuff that I actually know um, and love. Um, so, and there is a little, like, copper paint on his overalls, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I think that people would like Funko Pops a little bit more if they actually have articulation to them. Um, so, like, maybe the hands move. Um, so, yeah. But uh, his head does move, actually, so... Uh, so yeah, you can move, you know, head side to side, and he's actually pretty heavy. He's a pretty heavy boy, um, so, uh, because of the head and also the way that he's moving, so, love this Funko Pop, think they did a really good job on him, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys, like, comment, subscribe, I don't care what you do, but you guys know what time it is, so, bye guys.